and entrepreneurs, as this day has just been rolling on for Miss Aurora, I wanted to make this video for you quickly. In this video, I want to tell all of secured entrepreneurs just why it is you need to have multiple bank accounts, okay? I wanna just get right into it. Can we do that? All right. So for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Okay, Secured Entrepreneur, so last week, uh, we had a client who we assisted opening up a brokerage account. And he says to me, what is this SIPC? What, 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 what is this? It doesn't look like, you know, the stuff that uh, I see at the bank. And so we had to have a discussion. So I'm going to back this up. For starters, I need for all of the secured entrepreneurs to know that when you open up these accounts, for your business, for yourself, okay? The FDIC is only insuring up to $250,000, okay? $250,000. And that is the insurance in the event that there is a bank failure. Any amount of money that you keep in any one account over the amount of $250,000 you might suffer a loss, okay? Because that account is insured up to $250,000. Now, if in fact you have a joint bank account, then the coverage is doubled. There would be $250,000 coverage for each individual that is on that account, okay? So for one person in a bank account, $250,000. Two people, joint bank account, $500,000 because they're going to give each person the $250,000 coverage, okay? Now, for trust accounts, and this would apply for revocable as well as irrevocable, okay? Each beneficiary that is named on these trust accounts will have the coverage of $250,000 each, okay? So if you've named five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, each of those people who are named as the beneficiaries of those trusts will receive $250,000 each of the FDIC insurance coverage for the deposit, okay? So please understand that if you are banking and you are keeping amounts in your account well over the limit that will be insured in the event of a bank failure, you could be suffering a huge loss. So I want all of the secured entrepreneurs to really, really, really be mindful of these things. And again, I, keep, I have to talk to the, the, the portion of us who operate in trust because many people are naming uh, parents, uh, grandparents that are still alive, siblings, okay? uh children grandchildren and, and 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 future people okay and they're keeping monies in these accounts however they're not counting the cost in that all of these people are only going to be covered for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so you have to understand how to spread your currency out uh, between multiple accounts, okay? Do the math as it would work for you, okay? Now, for brokerage accounts, brokerage accounts are not covered by the FDIC. They are covered by the SIPC. And that is the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. That is a nonprofit corporation that protects investors in the event that the brokerage would have a failure, okay? Now the SIPC is going to have a limited amount of coverage on the assets that you have in your brokerage account, such as stocks, 
bonds and other securities. It is not going to cover any losses due to the decline in value of your investments, nor is it going to cover any losses due to any type of fraudulent situations, okay? So it's imperative that you ask all the questions that you need to ask when you open up your brokerage accounts. And please do not be afraid to ask questions, especially if you are new, you know, let the representative know that, you know, this is your first time opening up an account and you need this information. As a matter of fact, email me, okay? Email me whatever literature you have on this subject so that I can become well informed about what is going on here with this account. So that this way you can make a better decision as to how many accounts you're actually going to need based upon the, the monies that number one, you place in the account and then the monies that begin to accumulate in the account. All right. The other thing is a lot of brokerage accounts will have a, a private uh, insurance protection. Okay. That would get, that would go beyond the SIPC. All right. So if you want to inquire about that as well for investment products such as annuities and life insurance policies. We know that there are components that protect the value of your investment or uh, offer guaranteed returns. And of course, th that would be specific to the product and the terms of those policies, okay? All right, that's what Ms. Aurora wants to share with the Secured Entrepreneurs today. You all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day, at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, 